Okay, so I'm going to be talking about a mnemonic to help you remember the signs and symptoms of anorexia. So just a little bit about anorexia. It is an eating disorder characterized by low body weight and periods of starvation or binging and purging. The lack of adequate nutrition in fat stores can lead to amenorrhea, so they're not getting their period. Uh, patients with anorexia will feel fat even if underweight, uh, even if significantly underweight. And it, because it's an unhealthy way to cope with some emotional problems that they have going on. Um, if they're binging and purging as part of this, they can lead to some legitimate damage to their GI tract and some epigastric discomfort. If you can only imagine you're having this um, uh, consistent vomiting, is really can really erode the esophagus and cause some significant discomfort. You can also have some relatively peculiar symptoms like abnormal blood counts, some bluish discoloration of the fingers, very thin hair that breaks or falls out, or even some soft downy hair that covers the body. So the mnemonic is actually the word anorexia. So each letter stands for something. So um, A, amenorrhea. Again, they're not getting their period. And no organic factors that account for weight loss. So they don't have some other disease process that's causing them to lose their weight. Oh, obviously thin but feels fat. R, refusal to maintain normal body weight. E, epigastric discomfort is common. X, for X symptoms, so extra peculiar kinds of symptoms. I, intense fear of gaining weight, and A, they're always thinking of food. They're always thinking of how to control their food, limit their intake different ways, and how to conceal some of that as well. So again, the mnemonic for this, for anorexia, is the word anorexia. And the letters all stand for, I'll go through them again, A stands for amenorrhea, N, no organic factors factors to account for the weight loss. O, obviously thin but feels fat. R, refusal to maintain normal body weight. E, epigastric discomfort. X, for extra peculiar symptoms. I, intense fears of gaining weight. And A, always thinking of food. And something that goes along with that is bulimia. So bulimia is an eating disorder, that's disorder that is characterized by binging and purging. Patients may go through periods of excessive eating and then try to purge by inducing vomiting. They may take laxatives or diuretics, or they may even go through periods of fasting. So the word bulimia is the mnemonic, so um, a letter standing for, or a word standing for each of the letters of bulimia. So B, characterized by binge eating. U, under strict dieting. L, lax control slash overeating. I, induced vomiting. M, minimum of two binge eating episodes. I, increased or persistent concern of their body size or shape and A, abuse of diuretics and laxatives. So that mnemonic again is bulimia, and it's B, 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 binge eating, U, under strict diet, L, lax control, overeating, I, induced vomiting, M, minimum of two binge eating episodes, I, increased or persistent concern of body size and shape, and A, abuse of diuretics and laxatives. And then another way to remember the signs and symptoms of bulimia is the word washed, W-A-S-H-E-D. So W, weight loss of 15% of original body weight. A, amenorrhea, so they're not getting their period. S, social withdrawal. H, history of high activity and achievement. E, electrolyte imbalance, and D, depression slash distorted body image. Washed, bulimia. So washed. W, weight loss of 15% of original body weight. A, amenorrhea. S, social withdrawal. H, history of high activity and achievement. E, electrolyte imbalance. D, depression slash dis distorted body image. So those are some ways that you can remember both um, anorexia and bulimia. 
This has been another episode of the Nursing Mnemonics Podcast by NRSNG.com with your host, Katie Kleber, RN, CCRN. To grab all of our nursing cheat sheets, head over to NRSNG.com slash freebies. That's NRSNG.com slash freebies. Thank you so much for being here today. We love you guys. We thank you so much. We want to see you guys succeed. Listen, we're all in this together. Now go out and be your best self today. Happy nursing.